Hey, we're back with what causes ADHD and how to optimize the ADHD brain pattern. Let's get started. Okay, so I've already told you in the last lesson that ADHD is caused by an organic irregular brain pattern. So that's the nature piece. And you can see in this diagram, all brain patterns are created by nature and nurture. Some have a stronger nature component, others have a stronger nurture component, but it's always nature and nurture coming together. Nature is either a family disposition, which sometimes in the science it's called genetic. I like to think of it more as hereditary or a familial disposition, meaning that brains don't fall far from the tree. So our brain per performance pattern is like that of our parents, like one parent or the other. And in ADHD, most times there is one parent or the other that also has the ADHD brain pattern and there's a history of ADHD in the family. But nurture takes a role in ADHD as well. So nurture is environment. So what happens is if someone's born with an ADHD pattern, it will create behaviors. We've already talked about them at length, but those behaviors will get outcomes for a person. So if a child has bad behavior at school and they're always impulsive and talking out of turn, and I talk with many moms who tell me that the school has called home three or four times that week, that's a negative outcome or a negative consequence of the behavior that came from the brain pattern. That creates a negative feedback loop that negative feedback loop is environmental and it will lock in that initial brain pattern that is caused by the organic pattern from ADHD. But basically nurturing the environment is locking in the nature aspect of the brain pattern. Okay, so it's nature and nurture. So how do we optimize an ADHD brain pattern? we need to decrease the slow brain speeds that are being used in the brain. It tends to be mostly theta, but delta can be implicated too. Delta is that extra slow brain speed that is for sleep. So we have shift into sleep mode and sleep mode that are being used much too much. We need to down train them. We need to increase beta to get the brain in the zone for calm focus. And many times people have that compensatory comorbid pattern of too much high beta speed that creates anxiety or hypersensitivity. If that is there too, we need to decrease that anxiety mode so that the brain is basically bumped up and it's using more of perfect processing speed and we're taking the foot off the brake, we're taking the foot off the gas, so now the brain is driving at 45 miles an hour again. Science proves that Neurofeedback that I'm going to talk about in upcoming modules is the number one way that we can retrain the brain to be able to use perfect, optimal brain speed for calm focus. So, and it's endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics, which is pretty cool. But I'm gonna also share with you strategies, tips, and techniques that you can use yourself. Okay, so upcoming is neuroplasticity, how the ADHD brain can be improved permanently. So stay with me. I'm going to teach you the science behind this stuff so that you can understand how we can create this positive feedback loop for lasting change so that you can improve the ADHD pattern, get rid of it all together, and over time lock in that calm focused brain pattern so you can reach your full potential and rock out your best authentic life on purpose for the rest of your life. Follow me through to the next module. I can't wait to see you there.